Hello, Georgia Burns back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the dies from the Quiet Meadow set and I used a few of these dies which I've already cut out and I used a die now it's not a Stampin' Up! one this is a Sizzitz die I've had for years and it's a cutting in die rather than a cut out die I couldn't find one in my Stampin' Up! collection that was good enough for this I found a small one in the Peaceful Poppies but it wasn't big enough it was only a, a little one there and I wanted a quite a long one and I had this so I cut use this die and that cut out this can you see it so that's what I'm going to use today I'm sure a lot of you have got a cut out die if you want to cut in die sorry if you want to case this card. I've also got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth. I've also got a piece for the inside and these are my flowers or wild flowers and a couple of butterflies a couple of tags and I've also got a piece that measures four and a half by two and a half and once we've coloured that that will go behind the cutout so first of all we need to start inking and stamping so I need that and I also need a piece of paper I should do. Right, I just want three colours on this, and I have picked Granny Apple Green, Balmy Blue, and Soft Sea Foam. It's going to go in the. M no, couldn't do it that way. So there's a colour between the blue and the green. And I'm just going to put this on with daubers. Finger daubers. Where's my blue? So, in that up and just go around and cover two thirds of it in the blue Ooh. don't want creases in it and that's about two thirds and then we're going to do soft sea firm Blend that in. And then get rid of that one. I'm going to use garden green. I'll use the same dover because it's a green. And And that will just go under there. Like that. That's quite nice. That I like that. 
it doesn't matter how rough you do it. Right, I need the blue out still because we're going to do the same with our butterfly. And we're just going to go over it lightly and then I'm going to go around the edges with it. I did it in a darker blue on the other card but it doesn't matter in a now I'm going to bend the wings and do a bit down the side of each and then I'm going to roll my dorva just to give it a bit of pattern on the wing bits and that's all I want that one for right put them three colours aside now we're going to colour in these. I think you've seen me do this before because I have done a card similar similar to this. Just take out the middle bits of this one. <coughs> Sorry about that. Right, with my green dauber, my old olive, I'm going to do the stems and the leaves. One. and <coughs> right that's them coloured in. We just need to colour in the flowers. So we've got a real red for this one. And we're going to Red flowered one. All right, I've got soft suede here, and this is for the centerpiece of one of the flowers. And he did that in brown, soft suede. Right, I've got Daffodil Delight to do the main part of the flower. And 
and then we glue the piece we coloured in soft suede in the middle. Like that, just leaves this one flower which we will do in Highland Heather. There we are. That's all our colouring done. Right, all we've got left to do is the sentiment, which I'm using birthday wishes out of itty bitty birthdays. And I'm going to pop it on this tag. Nice. I did cut out two of these tags in case I made a mistake. So I should put that in my box for another time. Alright, all we've got to do now is put this card together. So what I'm going to do is glue around this shape and I'm going to pop that on like that and then we're going to pop this on our card base didn't do nothing inside so I should just pop this in as you know I don't always do anything inside I just put the white card in right now we're going to lay these out I'm going to have that one up there this one yeah, and then this one there. That's how it's going to go down. So we'll glue this one first. yellow one And then the red one. Like that. Just making sure I get ink on 
ink glue on all the pointy bits because we don't want it to lift up. And now this wishes, or better wishes, will go across there on dimensionals. Only need three. One, two, three. A butterfly will go on top. Well, it doesn't actually, it goes underneath, but it looks like it's sitting on top. And then we've just got our gems to add, so I need to get them out. Butterfly. wants to sit on top of the tag. That's it. Right, and that is our card for today. Hope you like it. If you do give me a thumbs up, if you um, like my cards please subscribe if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually on Monday Wednesday and Friday all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon